What's up guys, Overture here, and I wanted to make a quick video talking about my feelings toward Call of Duty Ghost and how I feel it's the most fair Call of Duty in the series. Now the first thing I want to state about Call of Duty Ghost is the SATCOM. For those of you who don't know, that's the equivalent to the UAV in the game, and in order to get the UAV equivalent in Call of Duty Ghost, you have to have two SATCOMs on the map, which means two different people have to place SATCOMs for there to be the radar. The first one, I believe, it just shows the dots. It doesn't actually have a ping, and it lasts fairly short compared to the UAV in past games. And I feel like that's a very important part because with that, people don't run the ghost perks in this game because they don't feel the need to stay off the map because they don't show up as much and it doesn't last as long. And silencers are still a big thing, but it's nothing compared to in the past games. The next point I want to make is the perk placement or the pick system in Call of Duty Ghost. There is... You know, in Modern Warfare 2, the most important things were one-man army, noob tubes with Danger Close. Danger Close is in this game, and not a lot of people use it. It's not a problem in this game. The way that the perks are set up, people don't choose it because they don't need it. They'd rather run Focus, Quick Draw, and all the other perks that help them win gunfights than do a little bit more blast damage with grenades. And I feel like that's a very important step that Call of Duty took to make sure that this is a very fair Call of Duty. And even with the, the changing of some perks like Deadeye, like that's basically stopping power, but it has an algorithm to where the more kills you get, the better chance of a, a bullet doing extra damage. And I feel like if they were to put that in Call of Duty 4 in lieu of stopping power and tweaked, you know, Juggernaut a little bit, it would have been a much better game and problems wouldn't have arose. The next point I wanted to talk about was the gun balancing. A lot of... Call of Duty is there was that one gun that was unfair to use like in World at War it was the MP40 ACR in Modern Warfare 2 ACR was pretty good in Modern Warfare 3 also type 95 and in Black Ops the AN94 M8A1 you know PDW all those guns were a little bit overpowered in you know the community standards but now there isn't that one gun that's considered OP a lot of people say that the MSBS is strong but compared to the type 95 and in past guns in Call of Duty's, it isn't strong at all. There's recoil, it, the the gun fire rate isn't as big, it's just not an overpowered gun. There isn't a gun in the game that I would suggest using over another. Next, I want to talk about the kill streaks. They brought back the specialists, the defense and offensive perk trees, and I feel like that was a step up. I like that definitely a lot better than Black Ops 2, where they kind of step, took a step back and went back to just one little perk tree, but now they have people that can play objectively or people that play the support role. Now that I talk about how fair the game is, I want to talk a little bit of how, you know, the fun factor of the game. A lot of people are saying that this is the least fun Call of Duty in the series, and I have to agree with that statement because not a lot of people are playing it and I'm finding it hard to stay in the game after hours of playing. And I feel like the reason of that is, is how fair the game is. I mean, as, as crazy as that sounds, the I want to be able to get nine kills and drop an amazing kill streak that can kills everybody on the map and, and and just build my streaks up over and over again. And in this game, it's definitely a lot harder. It's more on the gun and gun side of things. And it's really sad to see that the Call of Duty, you know, the community around it is just getting smaller and smaller. Like, people are saying that this is, you know, the start of the death of the Call of Duty series. And if you think about it, you know, lag comp isn't as prevalent as it was in Black Ops 2 and in previous games. They, in they integrated the hybrid servers and it made it easier for people to play in games with better connections, but still even with that fix, people aren't playing Call of Duty Ghosts. It's a problem, in my opinion. And, you know, I guess people could say that it's due to the fact that the, the, you know, the current gen and the next gen consoles was this Call of Duty. And to make that transition, especially with the last gen hardware, they were a little limited. But I feel like there's a little bit more to it than that. Even with all these fixes, it's still not an interesting game to play. And I'm not saying this is the end of COD and that Call of Duty games are getting boring now. I just feel like that they need to work hard and find a good balance between what is fair and what is fun in the game and just kind of 
bring that risk reward factor back into it because frankly in this game there just isn't enough strive to do those really high kill streaks i know there's the chem strike but you don't see many people trying to drop one but anyways i want to go back to my main point that they although they've done a lot of things to fix it and make it fair is what you know people have wanted the call of duty community have begged them to make the game fair but now that it's fair people are saying that it's not fun anymore and i don't know if, if they need to find a nice balance or it's just because the community is just toxic they find something to complain about over and over again until they just make a complete mess of a game and i want to know what you guys think do you think that they are making fun games or do you feel like this is just something the community is choosing to hate because it's not something that they're used to and it changed a little bit but anyways this is over your soul i hope you like the video have a good day